Yeah, you just find it. Okay, we're back on the clutch. So I put these snap rings in here. First, we got to make the snap rings better. So we got to collapse them back down. That way, they're like new again. Maybe even better than that. There's our new one. A success. You found your screw? No. no. <laughs> Stole another one. Stole another one. But how many are left? Well, you got enough to do the job. Three, four. I think four. You got six. Yeah. Get together. You got enough? I'm pretty sure. Okay. You didn't lose the key, did you? Mm -hmm. Did you lose, did the, lose key? the key? Yeah. Did you lose the key? I don't know. Lose the key? No. There probably is a key someplace, but we don't know where that someplace is. It could be on that. Okay, so this red. The red wire, this harness, is red. Is red and it goes to goes to the green the coil. I think that thing is so loose. Why? What are we gonna do with this green? One? We're supposed to do something with this green one. I don't know, but that, that clip sucks. This clip is not much value. Oh, I think Present. I screwed this up even more. You screwed up something up there? Did I hear that right? Is that possible? Really screw that up. Okay, one of these is for the coil. What's the green one for? I don't know. You're working on it, not me. Can a screwdriver thing borrow? Mm -hmm. Screwdriver? Any kind? in play in there. Oh, hang on, I know what I can do. See, all that holds these clutch baskets so now it doesn't come in and out early at all. That way when you pull the clutch in, it stays in. Alright, did you clean all the dirt off these? Good. You all the grease? Yeah, that too. Up here. Used to be room around to work. Okay, first we gotta find the bad plate. Yeah, it's about the same. Where's the bad one? Super fix everything hammer. Oh. Yeah, cool. Rat tail file. Need a punch. You give me that brass punch out of my drawer over there. Okay. 
doesn't work very well. Oh, there it is. I'm looking around. There it is. Why don't you tell me it was right there? It's right there, Fred. Jesus. Sorry, you left it. Wire and it's not on the floor. And it's not there. It's right there. That didn't fit very well. Ooh, that works good way in there. I can't get to him. Look at that. Something's falling. Okay, so the plate's only going to jam way out here. So the last plate is the problem. Yeah, we are hitting on which one. Okay, I did something. That's the hot, that's that. Yeah, those are this all red good. is going to that one there. So that's the tail light. That red goes to there. Where does the green go to? Where does the green go? Tight. Right there. Probably that last plate's going to be. That, one, that top one doesn't want to cooperate, does it? No. Seems to be a problem. Ah, got me. See, all the others are good. See. No, that, that one. one. It's just that one. <laughs> At some point, it's going to move, but it might break. I think I'm, holy crap, I think I'm getting close to being done. Good. So that's your coil, hot side of your coil, there's the... This one's definitely a problem here too. Now one of them was an ignition wire. Does the ignition wire go all the way back to... Hmm. Back to where? I'm trying to figure that out in my brain. Okay, now we're this far out. Well, anyhow. Mission wire goes right to coil up here. Yeah, that's what I got. That red is coil is this thing. I've also got this hooked up to the ignition. I don't know why that's so That's not an ignition wire. Mm -hmm. It's a light wire. Yeah, that's right. So that'll be for the tail light in the back. The headlight, not the tail light. Where's the point wire at? The point wire is here. Okay. So that hooks on the bottom, that's on the top, and we're done, right? Pretty much. Hmm? Maybe. Just to break one of these studs off. Ooh. Hey, 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 look at that. We're further out now. I got some movement finally, Fred. Okay, you didn't break it yet? Not yet. So I got your oil pressure wire ready to be hooked up to your metal light. That's, that's close enough to run now. Alright. Your generator light has been hooked up for that light. Are you supposed to be looking up there, Fred? No, I don't. Don't talk to me. I can talk over the. Don't look yeah. at that up here. No, don't look at that? Okay, we won't no, look. No, that's fine. Okay, so go back down. Up there, down. So, what are right we looking here. at? You or me? Go oh, right here. Go oh, right here. All right. It's see like a real movie camera going see on. See the generator right here? I can't see anything. Where are we at? Oh, there's one. Oh, there. See the generator? Let me pull back. So we've got one red and we've got one green. Red's going back to our 
hot side of the switch, which is a black wire, not a red wire, which is normally red. Okay, hold on, hold on. Which one's doing what? The, well, where's the red go? The red is coming up to the battery switch, side to the, the battery side of the switch. So it's connected to the battery. And then the green wire is going to the light. Whenever you get the dash, it's a three dash thing. It'll go to the light that says generator. Mm -hmm. So that's done. The blue wire is your oil. So which bulb is that, left or right? Right now it's it's uh, le it's left. Good. Okay. Center is oil, which I haven't hooked up yet, and then that's up there. Yeah. How does the oil? Hmm. Okay. How's oil what? Why does the oil sending unit send power to the light to tell you you got low oil pressure? It's the power the other side of the bulb. Oh, we got to power the other side of the bulb. That's why we have a bulb with a black and a red side. So we need to get a black, the red side hooked into the hot side or ignition side. There's the ignition. That's what we're working on. Okay, so I got to do that next. I'm going to hook the red side of the bulb to the ignition, the black to the oil pressure switch, so that if it gets loses pressure, the light comes on. Where? You got all that? I'm good. Do you guys get that? No. Sweet. I'm okay, putting a clutch so together though. To so, yeah, nice and Don't free. Be Don't be confused. Yeah, I'm working over here. You can work over you want there. on the ignition side or the hot side for the oil pressure? What are you talking about? Then? Oil switch? Yeah. It goes on the ignition side of the, uh, of the, top, the switch. The top of the ignition side. Got it. The top of the ignition switch wire. Terminal. Yeah. Terminal. That's it. Terminal. Terminal. We'll get that all squared away. You know, you notice that ground is flat before. I think I'm going to get rid of this big old booger here. Okay, Mr. Booger. Now, he has a ball style one of these on here. I need a little lube, oh, sir. Look at this. Here, Fred. Put a little something on the end of that for me. Some grease? Yeah, that would work. I'm going to hook up all of these springy, dingy things over here. You realize we don't have any heavy duty springs here. Well, we got some light duty springs. There you go. A little dab will do you. Get a little dab of grease on the end of there now. Ooh, that goes on. That was up dragging. Jeez, how come nothing fits on this bike? That has a little bit really? of drag on that. How come nothing fits on this bike? That's a question? That has a little bit of drag on there. Is that a question? Yeah, that's a question. <laughs> Damn, that got worse, not better. There, I think that's about there. It works actually right in that spot. Okay, don't move it from that spot, Trev. All right, where's our pressure plate at? Oh, look at that. Look at this nice uh, connector wire they did. Uh, I didn't cut that off and put a smaller one on there. Let's see, he has a big, ugly yellow one up there. And it should be like ones. a red. Yeah, that's what I got. I'm going to switch it to red. Oh, that's on the ground wires too? Yeah. All right. Actually, those aren't ground wires. Ground mm -hmm. wire is the ignition switch. I mean, is the uh, oil pressure. Hang on a second. Yeah, I got this all over the I hosed it? No, you didn't hose it up. They hosed it good. So ah. we put, you want oil pressure in the center? No, I want it on the right side where it belongs. Oh, that's okay. And then we'll figure it out from there. You know, I'm going to undo this and then we'll gonna figure it out from there. Because when that thing is a booger, too, it's. Yeah. I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to. I'm going to make these red. I'm going to do this the easy right. way. I'm going to put this down here. Okay, left side goes to here. Put this wire here. And stack all of these springs up right here. Right down there. Take our plate and lay it right on top of the springs. Like that. I don't really need, I think we need to use that. Then we take our fancy tool, 
tighten it up. Hmm? That's what I messed up. Yes, you made me work more. I did. Yes, you did. And you didn't take it apart for it. You just cheevenized it, took it apart any old way. Oh, you did just... not care about being correct or anything. Spring jam in there somewhere wrong. You got to tell me. I have to tell you everything? Well. I thought you were factory trained. No. <laughs> didn't want to let it go. Okay, now we use our factory nuts here. We're out of view again. How did we get out of view? Did I kick it? Maybe I kicked the camera. Maybe we had an earthquake. I know the bike slid over. Does that make a difference? Uh, let's see. California. Yeah, let's see here. Knuckleheads cut my wire too short. How come this nut feels like the threads are crap? Yeah, they're not crap, they're just full of Loctite and, and crud. Okay. Can you go over the lay there and grab my 6 inch scale for me? Put that light off too, if you want. Unless you want the extra light. That light, might, that light might actually be helping, maybe. Yeah, that might actually help you. Ooh, you got a spring tension on there. Scale away. Okay, what's the factory number? Quarter inch. Damn. Gee, that is a tight. Look at that nut there. How much was it? I'm not the book? factory train. You didn't uh, read the book? I've been train. Well, not even. There Something wrong with that nut. The factory minimum is 31 30 seconds. And there's something wrong with that nut. Maybe that's why they had the wrong nuts on there, Fred. Could have been. Should have been. Could have, should have, would have. Could have, should have, would have. It's dark over here, I can't see. Oh, this is just lovely. Is the clutch hooked up yet? Ooh, look at that clutch arm move. So you can't see nothing that much close up on there. Arm here, adjusting it all the way back and forward about that far. That's the adjustment. Did you know that adjustment, friend? Mm -hmm. The spring doesn't collapse. Ooh, it almost works. Do this better from the other side. I could have done a lot better with the lift, but half a foot down. Clutch come out evenly. Damn, almost got you. 
Throwing stuff at me again. Oh. So you worked that, Fred? Oh, what's that? So you make the clutch work evenly? Hmm. You release it, see? Of your angle. Release it. How is that doing that? How's it working? Is it moving the lever? Yeah. It's called a clutch farm. Yeah, I know. Thought you knew about them things. It's not your standard clutch farm. No. It is for a Harley. It is for a Harley. The trick is how far to move it. I think somewhere in that general vicinity there is about the right spot. All right, clutch is roughed in. Might work, might break the belt, we don't know. Fred, what happened to this? What's that? Dude, that's supposed to be holding your... Holding what? What's it hold? The lock nut for your, your lock for your oh. clutch hub. I use Loctite instead. We forgot to tighten the motor sprocket nut, tranny sprocket nut when I was in there though. I purposely took the lock tab off just so I could do that, and I didn't do it. You know what? It's going to have to wait until next time. Yeah. I'm sure it's tight. I'm sure it's just plenty tight. I'm sure it's tight enough to get down the road. Did you put the clip on there yet? No. Did you put any grease on there yet? No. I did. No, I didn't. No, you didn't do either one. You did put the clevis onto the clevis pin receiver, though. Yeah, well, it was on. That's... There you go. Look at that. So he put this on there with no lubrication and no retention device. Is that your screw uh, right there? No. You sure? Yeah. That's not a screw. That's a nut that you took off and didn't throw away. I, the nut I gave to you to throw away? Did you not throw it away? I don't know what the hell it is. That's called the top of the zip tie. Oh, never mind. Don't no. listen to you, you don't know what you're talking about? Is that what it's you're saying? Like what Is that what you just said? Yeah. Okay. Can't see that don't pay attention to Fred, I don't know what he's talking about. I just stepped on something else over here. Oh, could be my screw that I'm missing. Well, I did find a screw that's right there. I also found the wire. The screw's right there on the floor. Do you want me to pick that up for you or do you want to get it? No, just leave it there. I just. Leave there next time? No, I'm almost I'm ready. Is that you're almost screwed? No. Okay. Okay, now I got two of these on that side. I need a clutch. Now my chance is this size here. One. I think it's going to be the bigger one. Mm. Why have I done that? This one. It is not that one. That is way too big. So that means it was the first one. The same one that used on the brand new. Okay. Did you turn the camera off or is it still running? It's running. Oh. It's got a good view of you. No, it didn't. We are wasting all kinds of time on the video camera. Yeah, it says record on there. If they could smell, they'd be in trouble. <laughs> the smell of vision is not working? No. That burrito ate a little earlier. It's about kicking in now. It's the burrito? <laughs> burrito special. Yeah. Did you notice the burrito free zone? Oh. Okay, I have to move the camera now so I can work. Up Something's freezing up. Yeah, I thought it was loose enough from the burrito you just said. Yeah. Where's that lever at? Well, that part's loose enough. 
back is freezing up. Okay. Sounds like a lot of personal issues. I always have personal issues. Okay, I need a screwdriver or something to get the snap ring to go in here because it doesn't seem to want to go. I'm on the wrong side. I think they purposely did that, didn't they? Oh, I know what this one is. This is a high beam light. But we're not doing headlights, so we don't need a high beam light, right? What if I get stuck in the dark? Left is generator, or right is oil pressure, left is generator, center is bright light, right? I don't have no idea. No, we're going to leave it for now. That's all we need. Okay. Drifters down here, Phil. Does it work? That's the next question. Does it work? Okay. That's all the way up. There's neutral. Second. Third. Fourth. So it has a reverse shift pattern in this bike. No. Yes, mm -hmm. it does. I wonder I couldn't find neutral. <laughs> I kept doing the standard. Okay, it's set up for racing. I told you it's a drag bike. Pound on that sucker until it shifts. Perfect. The problem is the shift lever probably So when you do shift all the way up first, and then you just jump on it? Just beat the hell out as you go, yeah. That's pretty cool. Of course, the shift lever will probably slip. Okay, can you put that back over there for me? Okay, we have some more stuff done now.